Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is finally here, and it's a way different movie than people were expecting. For one thing, Doctor Strange doesn't feel like the main character here, so who is? Warning, spoilers ahead. At this point, savvy fans of the MCU know not to take trailers seriously. Studios don't want audiences to figure out the movies in advance, so filling trailers up with fakeouts has become a common practice. From editing characters out of scenes, to using dialogue or shots that don't even make it into the final theatrical cut, the people who market these movies will do just about anything to lie to fans about how the actual film takes shape. The same is once again proven true for Marvel Studios' latest theatrical release, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Here's every time the trailers lied to us. We should tell him the truth. The teaser and official trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness strongly imply that the events of the movie occur as a result of Doctor Strange's spell gone wrong from Spider-Man No Way Home, or that Strange might attempt another spell that shatters the border between realities in his solo movie. This proved to be a total misdirect, since the inciting incident for this film isn't a Doctor Strange spell of any kind. Marvel Studios executive Kevin Feige noted at the film's world premiere, the final episode of Loki provides the singular event that makes the problems in the multiverse possible. If anything, Wanda meddles more in the multiverse to start the movie than Strange himself, as she desperately searches for a way into a universe where she can live in peace with her children. The film's teaser trailer uses lines from the most recent Spider-Man movie to imply that this film's events result from all the different Spider-Man characters crashing into Earth-616. Again, that's not the case. Strange only gets involved after America Chavez falls right into his lap with a dead alternate version of himself and a monster sent by Wanda in hot pursuit. The first Doctor Strange movie distinctly sets up Karl Mordo as Strange's main adversary after Dormammu and Cassilius are defeated. Mordo, of course, does appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but not at all in the way fans expected. Without context, trailers for the movie certainly make it seem as if Strange causes irreparable harm to the main MCU universe, inciting Mordo to re-emerge and punish his ex-friend for the so-called desecration of reality. In the finished movie, Strange only meets Mordo again after traveling to Earth-838 with America and seeking out that universe's Sorcerer Supreme, Mordo, who works with the Illuminati. The Illuminati explained to Strange that they killed their universe's version of Strange after the defeat of Thanos because he was such a liability for the stability of the multiverse. While the Illuminati's emergence makes for an interesting sequence, Strange and America spend little time with them. Wanda tears the Illuminati, Charles Xavier and Reed Richards included, to shreds with relative ease. All in all, Patrick Stewart's screen time in the movie is barely longer than the trailers themselves. This doesn't seem fair. Aside from Strange and Wanda, America Chavez may receive the third most amount of screen time of any character by the end of the film's 126-minute runtime. Audiences may not have guessed that from trailers, though. America is largely seen in the background. Of course, Marvel Studios and Disney likely had their reasons for holding back this brand new character. America's powers and the details of how she meets Strange and Wong in the first place are spoiler heavy. Additionally, this movie is America's initiation to the MCU. Casual moviegoers catching the trailer probably don't even recognize the character. Even so, America makes for a dominating force in the movie as her power make her the only known person across the multiverse capable of shifting herself between realms. Wanda and Strange both use the Darkhold to dreamwalk in other universes through other versions of themselves, but they need America with them to make a physical leap. By the film's end, America takes control of her multiverse hopping abilities and even finds a temporary home at Comertage in Earth-616. The character seems like an important one, who will likely play a significant role in MCU projects to come. You wouldn't know it by the trailers, though. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.